Hey Tankers, welcome back to channel. Today, it's our Sunday Best, episode 87, and we are coming back at you this 4th of July weekend. 4th of July is actually a couple days away on Tuesday, but we're here having fun, and we will um, continue to have fun. I'll actually have a special LOL video for you on the 4th of July, that's my goal. And so we will see you back in a couple of days. But in the meantime, grab yourself a drink, grab yourself some donuts, a bagel, something to snack on, and let's get into this because we're gonna start with PJ Shaw and the IS-3 Defender. Yes, the IS-3 Defender. This tank actually still does exist in game. It's just nobody's usually uh, willing to drive it. But here we are. PJ, good job, dude. Um, so we can see here, here on, I think it's Desert o Oasis. He is um, right here in the middle. He's going to put a nice shot to that guy as he peeks. So for those of you who don't know about the Defender series, um, which you probably all do, the Defender is the uh, one of the first series of tanks brought into the game with the autoloader was kind of an experiment when everybody when this tank came into game this is how long ago everybody thought it was op and now you almost never see anybody drive it um because of its three shots and uh because it would have a long clip reload and then it could fire one shot like every eight seconds or something like that and with a 450 plus alpha um, it was a pretty strong tank in the day. Um, it's kind of a uh, been power creeped. Um, it's just not as good. The the there's lots of other tier eight heavy tanks that have auto loaders that have a lot quicker reload, both the full clip and the inner 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 shell. Um, this is just it. It needs some love. We're gaming, but anyways. Um, so PJ is doing a good job. He's 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 fired his three shells. He's doing the big long reload. He's staying in cover while he does it. He's watching you that watching that SU-130 over there on the side. Uh, the guy is um, trying to get some shots across the tracks on him. Here he has somebody just peeking out, and he puts a nice shot for a kill shot in there. Um, and I'm gonna guess he's gonna roll up here in a second. Um, he still has two shells in his clip. Um, now, I know I've said in the past that when you're driving a clipper, you need to, and you have a time to wait, you, know, you probably want to go ahead and, you know, if you fire one shot, you probably want to reload that clip. This is one of the tanks that you wouldn't be, probably wouldn't want to be doing that with. Um, the reload is so long on the clip that it's just not worth doing. Um, you have two more shells, you might as well fire them and, and then go in the long clip and, and hide and get some get some cover. Uh, here he's gonna get a nice shot into the side of this uh, uh, object 2.6. Oh, that's a Maltian, Never mind. That's a tier nine Maltian. So um, he's gonna put, comes up here, nice side shot for a kill. Um, Second kill of the game, he's got one shell left in the clip. Actually, two shells, sorry. Uh, he's got two shells left in the clip, and he is going to head towards these guys. And see, he's holding on to those clip, the, those shells in the clip because it is going to take a long reload. He's got time to take his, get his aim in. He doesn't want to cross the tracks because he knows that now that he's spotted, there's probably somebody watching. So here he goes, they've popped down, he drives, dropped off his scope, his spotting scope, which means he probably had dropped off to theirs until just right now. Um, there's the Chimera, uh, Chimera, and, or, yeah, Chimera. And he puts one shot down towards it and misses another shot into the dirt. So there's that Russian um, accuracy. Uh, so he's gonna back up and we see the Camara hits a bounce on him. But he has that long clip reloaded. Now he's gonna come out with three shells. There's the Camara. 
and can he get the gun down? Uh, he's gonna, I, you know, he's gonna get it. Come on, come on. So yeah, the Camaro's gonna run right directly into his line of fire. I don't know what he's thinking. Um, there's a nice shot to the, that uh, that guy was peeking. Sorry, I couldn't see what that was, but that was game. That's that's uh, points. That's all we needed to see the victory. TJ ends up with a nice ace here. He does 2,854 damage, excuse me. Nice ace mastery with two kills. And he's going to make 112,000 credits in game. Good job, PJ. Oh, excuse me. That'll bring us to our next game. Our next game, my brother, making it back into the countdown with an ace in the object 252. Now, this is another Russian tank, and this one definitely kind of stepped in and took the place of, definitely took the place of the, of some of the big heavy uh, Russian tanks in game uh, when this one came out. It was not, I, I'm not going to call it OP, but it was certainly one of the best choices for an, a, a tier 8 IS type heavy in game when it came out, and it still really is. I really enjoy the tank myself. I still have it at my favorites, and I play it all the time. Um, it is just a really solid tank. So we're going to see a nice alpha shot near 387, I think that was. Mike's going to back up and keep an eye on this guy to the right. So we see Mike's going to push at him um, side on now. Mike takes a hit, takes a couple hits there, gets a really nice ammo rack ready right to come around that corner. He really got that at a good time. He, he really needed that. But he took two hits he didn't need to take when he came around there. And he was already backing up towards that, that Carnivon. Had he kept backing in that direction, um, you know, he might have had an issue with his lower plate showing, but his best armor would have been pointing towards the guys facing at him. And so that's a little mistake there, but Mike's going to get an ace on this either way, so that's why it's in the video. But I just thought I'd point that out. No, I'm not picking on my brother. I'm just, you know, pointing it out. Here he's going to get a really nice t uh, kill shot into the Tiger 2. Um, that's his second kill of the game, and Mike is capped to base. Good job, little brother. So he's going to pull around here, and he's waiting to get, well, he's got that shell ready, but he's, I think he wants to try and get somebody spotted up before he runs too far out there, and everybody's dropped off, and there, now somebody pokes on the, down the, out, down the street, and he's getting, he's getting clobbered from tanks from different directions shooting at him. He's got three tanks facing him now, he's going to have to back back into cover. Um, they've kind of lost all their spotters, and that put it for a bad situation for Mike to drive right into. But, you know, the IS-6, I think, is the farthest right that's closest to him, and I think we're going to see that guy make a reappearance. Yeah, here he is. So the IS-6 is out there, and, you know, Mike can outperform an IS-6 every day of the week in this Object 252. It's just a matter of... You know, making sure this, you know, you take advantage of the mistakes the other person's making. And, and uh, they got guns that do pretty similar damage. Um, I would give the uh, penetration to the 252, though. IS-6, I mean, it's a tough tank, but um, Mike puts another shot into him. He's keeping himself angled up, trying to hide that lower plate. Give it up. Not anymore. Um, this IS-6, I'm not really sure what he does, why he drives past Mike. And gives him his side to shoot at. And Mike just easily pens a shot there for another kill. Is third of the game. And now that we now we just have the uh, VK 4502B or A that's out there. Um, and, and and Mike's just gonna run at him. Mike's just gonna run at him, and um, we'll see if. 
where this call comes from, but Mike gets another nice bounce. The so the 4502A is a uh, German variant. <laughs> Excuse me, dang it. Um, has that nice German gun on it, but just really has no armor. It's kind of a heavy M. It, it's it's fairly fast for heavy, but it has no armor and. Um, we watch this guy drive around into the street side streets, and Mike's trying to get there, but yeah, he's not going. But anyways, Mike finishes still with a really nice game. Gosh damn it. My sinuses. Sorry, guys. So Mike's going to finish with 3,753 damage, three kills. Nice ace mastery. Um, 163,000 credits in game. A really nice ace bro happy to play it in here and mike finishes top of his team in damage really good game little brother that brings us into archangel and the object 777 and you can see right there in front of him is his longtime platoon buddy climber um one of our office two of our officers in the the black templars and they like platooning together and here we are on him hillsdorf and they run towards the decap. We see his team probably climbers capping decap. Um, and you're gonna see right here, this other team, we can see they're at A and C. Um, C is right around the corner here. We can see a couple of guys have spotted up. Climbers flanking around the long side of the building, putting him in a good position to get some good side shots on the guys if they face uh, Alistair or vice versa. And Climber's already putting out some good shots there. And here, uh, Alistair, sorry, Archangel, puts his first shot into the um, Object 252. We've knocked that 252 down to a one shot. We've got to get a shot in there to finish him off. Climber rolls up to give a hand on a closer range. Um, nice shot into that K91. Um, I mean, I know the K91 is a tier seven, and the other ones are tier, tier the VK72 is a uh, tier ten. But really, the K91 is the more dangerous of the two tanks. I'd be focusing damage on them, and it looks like they're trying to do. But you know, if you see a loaded point tank, you need to put a gun a shell into it, and they do take out that K91 as well. So now the rest of the red team is coming out there from the side. Uh, Archangel's going to turn around to engage them and keep his best armor forward. Looking for this M60. Uh, he's going to run right out in front there. Uh, and so the other platoon that is out there is a purple platoon. Um, and that is another clan. And that most of us know that's another clan in Blitz. They're one of the professionals, professional clans. Um, so it's a, a little prestige here for Climber and Alistair, a.k.a. Archangel, that... They are just going to um, butcher and, and really beat this uh, purple clan, uh, purple clan platoon. Um, one of the things that Climber and Alistair pride themselves on is their ability to whoop other platoons' butts, and they have done some great jobs in some of the videos we've posted over the. 87 videos we have, or 86 videos that we've had previous to this, where they have beat many professional teams, including His Royal Fatness, they've beaten um, Droodles, they've beaten all kinds of people. So This is a dangerous platoon to come up against. Anyways, Archangel puts out 3,983 damage with three kills. 167,000 credits in game. Really nice game. We see that Climber and Alistair are number one and two in the uh, the team. Really great game there. Climber was in his WZ-113. That's one of his favorite tanks. Here we see Valamouche in the WZ-111 5A. So this is our top game of the week. And Valamouche is not a common... Um, Contributor to the channel, so I'm ha I was happy to get a game from him. Him in there, 
especially because it plays with our theme of of the uh, IS variant tanks. And even though this WZ-113 is a Chinese tank, it is a Russian variant tank. Um, no matter how you look at it, it's a, it's it's very similar to an IS-4, and it's just a, a Chinese contracted version of it. So, anyway, so Valamu starts with a nice cap of a base here. He's going to rush forward, looking for targets of opportunity. And here on our right, we see a, the French AMX M4 MLE 54. He's just standing there for everybody to aim at. And just, he sees uh, Valamouche and doesn't know what to do. He's like, oh, I'm just going to sit here and let him shoot me. But that's okay because we'll enjoy watching it. So Valamouche already puts out his first kill there. Uh, nice finish. He's going to move up here and just look for more targets. So he's moved to the middle of the map. Um, Black Goldville is one of those maps that's been around for a long time. You almost feel like at some point they're giving an update, they probably will. Um, I hope they don't screw it up too much because it's really a fun map. So we see that that Red Heavy got killed there, the IS-7. Watch this, um, Vickers. I don't really know what he's doing. So he's dr just driving there. He gets hit. Valamir sees him continue to drive, aims in, waits for him to come out again, puts another shot in that guy. That guy's just driving forward getting shot. It's like it's a, a running target. You know, we see that, that Vickers is not long for this game. He'll be back in the garage in no time with playing like that. Um... So anyways, Valamouche comes up here on the side. He sees the uh, T-57. He takes a hit, gets a bounce. Uh, another hit there. He's going to be careful. Somebody just dumped a whole clip on him, but he's going to pull out. And the T-57 is trying to get out of dodge, but too late. He's going to go to the garage. Um, so Valamouche is going to back up here. He's doing his reload. Um, and you can kind of see that there's more people in front of him than than part than uh, teammates and it's a nice snapshot into that uh that medium tank over there um he is gonna lose his his other green team member right here uh, he's gonna have to back i think he's gonna back up to give himself some more space um and just kind of watch what's going on around him because he, he'd, he'd rather be in a position where he, people are coming at him not him coming at people because that gives him a little more of a defensive stand here he's going to put a, snaps a shot out to try to get that medium crossing. Doesn't get it, but he gets spotted for his efforts. But um, regardless, he's doing a good job capping B base here. And now he's going to move back up. Hopefully he's in a better position with the tanks. They've split up and moved around, and he doesn't have as many guns facing him. Here's looking out. Here's that um, medium again. He's looking. Puts a nice shot in the back of the turret there. Um excuse me the is4 is coming up on him and it's all right Valamu says I'll, I'll take care of it here don't worry about it I got it so Valamu puts out his third kill of the game uh, this game is just about done we got one tank left we can already see those points counting down here the other guy spots up but it's too late we have already got a thousand points that uh that Yo is not going to get killed, but that gives us another ace, another win, 4,354 damage, three kills, really nice ace mastery, Valamouche. He's going to finish with 199,000 credits in game. Gentlemen, that's our Sunday best. I appreciate your watching. We will be back on Tuesday, like I said, with our LOL video. So until then, guys, please... Great games, Templars, but like I was saying, please, good luck and good hunting. Thanks for watching. We will see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys.